Hi, good morning. Um, today I'm reading about and learning about how the Lord is our shepherd and he calls us his sheep. And then if you read Psalms 23, if you've never read it, I suggest read it. It's really good Psalms uh, by the Psalm of David. And it says, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures and leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. So as I was reading that scripture and others, um, I learned that the Bible refers and talks about sheep approximately 220 times. And, you know, God refers to us as his sheep. And um, I don't know if you've ever um, learned about sheep, but they need a shepherd. Um, if you just look at the animal, they, they aren't very intelligent. They get easily lost, distracted, directionless. If one wanders, um, it's very hard for that one to come back. Um, they have no sense of direction. Um, they can't find their way by themselves. So if you think of us being sheep, um, we often get that way where we get lost, um, can't find our way back. We have kind of lost all sense of direction and we're just like, ah, I need help, you know? so. Um, however, sheep do respond to a shepherd's voice. They, they know his voice. So just in life today, being a sheep, and we know that the Lord is our shepherd, if we've asked him into our heart, if we just like call on him and listen for his voice, we will hear it. But often, you know, we get so consumed in this world, in this life and busyness where we don't take the time to actually be still and listen busy 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 you know I gotta do this I gotta go here I gotta bring the kids here I gotta make dinner I gotta do laundry you know so before you know it the day goes by and you haven't s spent any time maybe listening to the Lord our Shepherd so I also learned that sheep are weak they need a Shepherd they're defenseless they easily stray they need guidance and protection they also become restless if they aren't led to new pastures. So sheep will often, um, they graze and they'll just keep eating in the same area until the shepherd brings them to new pastures. Um, they need to follow, they need to, you know, be led. So also this has to do with water. Um, if they aren't led to new pastures or water, they will die, they will thirst. So being that the Lord is our shepherd, it says in Psalms 23 that, you know, he leads me to, um, it says, he makes me lie down in green pastures and he leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. So we need to daily turn to him and he will lead us to those pastures, refill us, and we won't thirst anymore. He, he restores our soul. So just like a sheep in, you know, the wilderness, you know, with his shepherd, they need to go to new pastures. They need to be fed daily. They need to be, um, they need to follow. Um, the sheep know their, the, um, the voice of their shepherd. They have understanding. So we often hear their shepherd, but it's funny, sheep, sometimes when they start to get long wool and, um, you know, it's hot, heavy, the, they often will, turn over be cast down um, the wool attracts a lot of dirt and often the sheep doesn't know that their their wool is nasty and bugs and you know dirt and grime so the shepherd if it if they're not careful if the the sheep gets cast down on its back I thought this was interesting the sheep can't get back up on its feet on its own and if the shepherd isn't there to help it it will not get back up, it will die. So um, sheep, the shepherd will come over and it has to get sheared. This 
clingy 70 pounds or whatever the weight is it's really heavy the sheep can't get up the shepherd has to hold it down and like shear it and this is a really unpleasant um, situation the shepherd doesn't enjoy it the sheep hates it it's struggling but once it's over the sheep is relieved and it's like whoa it, it didn't know it needed it so I feel in life sometimes us as humans we um, sometimes wander so far and we have understanding but we're not listening and it gets to the point where we finally hit rock bottom or we get cast down and our shepherd has to really do some shearing and like you know getting all that stuff off of us and it's unpleasant but once it's done you know the sh we're relieved it's like whoa it's like a burden just lifted up you know so I thought that was interesting one last thing is it does say he anoints my head with oil um, in the, in Psalms 23 and if you look at a sheep the shepherd has to anoint the sheep with oil on its head because if it doesn't bugs lice ticks will crawl up the nose or the ears get into the brain of the sheep and slowly it like it's like a parasite it kills the sheep the brain so anointing the head with oil will help protect the sheep from all these bugs and infestation and those ticks flies whatever going up the nose and makes them slide down so they can't get up into the brain so when you turn and listen to the shepherd you read his word he anoints your head with oil daily he leads you to green pastures and restores your soul you know that it gives you protection so just like the oil protects the sheep the Lord protects his sheep um, if we just turn and listen to him so I encourage you today to listen to his voice um, and just know that um, you need a shepherd we're we're sheep we're kind of lost directionless sometimes we don't know where we're going we don't know what's going on and sometimes just letting go putting our arms up and saying I don't I can't do this on my own and um, just realizing that and just letting go letting God is like the first start you know just humbling it's a, it's a humbling experience when you just go God I can't do this you know because our pride gets in the way you know so have a great day you're his sheep he loves you and he wants you to hear his voice bye